Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start with today's Bitcoin TA, we have currently again $9,300 as a resistance and here in the one hour time frame it looks like that Bitcoin is gearing up here for another little move. I know currently the moves are very small and it's quite boring currently. But even though we are in this sideways moving range around 9000 to 9300, I still think a big move is coming up pretty soon and I'm sure you want to be ready for the next move. So that's why you have to prepare yourself right now to buy back some bitcoins in case that we're really gonna have this bigger dump that could happen. And also if you want to trade this with a short or with a long over on Bybit or BitYard, Make sure to already have an account, put your money that you want to trade with over there so you're ready immediately once the drop or the pump will happen. And if you need an account, you find all the links that you need down below here on the video description because with my links you can get some sign up bonus. So currently on Bybit we have $90, on Femex $72. On BTR is depending how much you're trading based on your trading volume you can get up to $260 so if you need an account go down below in the video description and sign up with my links it helps the channel and also you will get some bony as well and now let's start here in the one hour time frame because Bitcoin is forming this potential falling wedge which could break out to the upside and as you know and if you're following my videos you would know that I am expecting a possible retest of $9,400 to $9,500 very soon, potentially also break it and retest 10 k but that is what we have to see once we are reaching those price levels. Currently it looks like that we could gearing up here for this move towards $9,500 and that's why I want to catch here a little long position just to ride it up towards my targets. Right now we are here at $9,280 here at the top of this potential falling wedge. So I'm watching currently this 200 moving average in the one hour, which is here at the bottom at $9,170. So more or less at, at around $9,200, I'm planning to open up here a long position over on BTR, potentially also a little one here on Bybit. This is what we're gonna have to see once we're reaching those levels. But this is the price target that I'm looking currently to open up a little uh, long position just to ride it up towards my targets. If it's going down, I have my stop loss set, so I will just take a little loss. But currently I still think we could be good to go towards those targets. And also if we have a look on the S&P 500 mini futures, here also we are creating a very similar pattern like on Bitcoin, this potential little bull flag which could break out here to the upside. Also here you can see the S&P 500 is coming down here to a support of $3,100. So I'm expecting also here, maybe not today or at least in the next couple of hours, but uh, very soon here potential retest of the resistance and potentially also break it to the upside because here we have broken already a very strong resistance here at around $3,100. And I think Bitcoin most likely will go and follow it as well. So currently here in the one hour we have the RSI also bouncing from the 50 level which is bullish. We are now bouncing from the 15 RSI so we have a lot of room left to the upside. Stochastic is also neutral condition so the room to the upside here is quite big. And if we open up the Bollinger Band you can see that we're trading here in the upper area. So the target here is at least to retest $9,300 pretty soon. MACD is flat here. So let's see where we're gonna push next. I think then we're gonna have immediately here a bearish or a bullish cross in the MACD. I'm still more leaning into the bullish side because we're trading here in the upper area and also we're already bouncing here from the first middle line of the Bollinger Band. And now let's open up the four hour time frame. Because here, very important, as you can see, the 20 moving average here at 9,230 is giving us support. Currently, we had a few tests here of this 20 moving average in the 4 hour, and the 200 is right here towards $9,400, where also the main resistance is of this uh, green channel that you can see currently. So, only if we're able to close. Uh, 
four hour candle above 9360 and then I think we could be in here for a retest of this $10,000 up here at this uh, red line. As long as we're trading below $9,400, we have this price level as a resistance. So watch out here for $9,400 in case here of a breakout from $9,300 because this area here could be a big rejection zone. Also RSI is trading a neutral area but above the 50 level so this is still bullish. We have some room left to the downside so it is possible that we're going down to retest at 20 or 50 moving average in the 4 hour which is approximately at around $9,200. This is also my target in case I, that I'm gonna open up a long position if I'm here on the computer and also the stochastic is now in neutral condition. So also here it looks like that Bitcoin could gear up here for a retest of this range up here. So in case of a little weak to the downside here, I think this could be a potential good long opportunity if you want to long and not go short right now. Because don't forget if you're longing currently you're gonna pay funding rates. We still have more longs than shorts and that's why of course uh, the longer you keep your long open the less profits you're doing because you're gonna pay funding rates and at the other hand if you're shorting the market you're gonna get paid by these uh, funding rates at the moment and now let's go over to the bollinger band in the four hour time frame because here also you can see that we're trading in the upper area we are bouncing from the first middle line here of 9270 and in theory we could be heading here very easily towards 9400 dollars as well MACD is coming here to a potential bearish cross in case that we're not going to see this pump here towards 9400 pretty soon. So in case that here we're going to have a bearish cross, we could in theory go down to retest this $9200 area. In the worst case, we could even drop again towards $8900. And now let's open up the daily time frame because here currently we are trading again between the 20 and 50 daily moving average. So we're squeezing again within this channel. And so far we have the confirmation that the 20 daily moving average here at 9,250 is holding as a support. After we had this first close of this daily candle, we came down to retest the 20 and now we have the confirmation that this moving average is holding as a support because we traded right here at 9,250 yesterday we closed here and today we saw this nice little bounce here. Now the question is are we also able to break this $9,400 resistance up here and then start to head towards here this 10k level. So if you want to wait for a breakout then just wait here that the price is gonna break this $9,400 but in case that you already want to be in a long position because you think we could easily break out here to the upside then potentially wait for a retest of $9,200 and put it there because this is a nice entry otherwise just wait for the breakout and then trade the breakout. Because here in the daily you can also see that currently we are right at the 50 in the RSI so we have a lot of room left to the upside. 10k would be very easily reached if we are able to break this $9,400 and also close a daily candle above. Stochastic is coming up here towards uh, overbought condition but we can stay in this area for quite some time before we can cool off here like in the weekly where we also have the stochastic in very overbought condition. Now let's have a look quickly on the Bollinger Band in the daily because here also you can see we have the confirmation that currently we're trading in this upper area. We closed the daily candles above 9,250 and in theory also here we could go easily towards $9,600 here at the top of the Bollinger Band and the MACD also had a bullish cross. This is what I was waiting for. So here in the daily we are again back into bull mode. So I think longing here this bottom here at around 9,250 to 9,200 is very good in case that you want to long right now and the target is at least up here towards 9,400 to 9,500 dollar. So Bitcoin I think is gearing up for this move. Most likely we're gonna also have to wait till the stock market is gonna have a little pump but I think here on Bitcoin at least here in the daily and also in the shorter time frames it looks like that we're gonna have a possible nice leg up towards those targets. 
And now let's open up the weekly time frame because this is the most bullish time frame so far. We are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average. We have the RSI above the 50. Stochastic is also coming now a bit down after being so overbought since quite some time. So I think this was also quite healthy. Of course, we have some room left to the downside. But since the RSI seemingly is bouncing here from the 50 area, and although we're trading above the 20 weekly moving average, everything is good to go to the upside again. And also here in the Bollinger Band, we would have a lot of room left here, even up towards $11,000 in case that we can close a weekly candle above $9,300. Otherwise, if you're getting rejected here, the target and the trading range would be between $9,300 and $8,200. The thing is that the MACD is still shifted to the upside, so that's why I'm also still more into the bullish mode that we could easily reach here $11,000 pretty soon. But in case that we're gonna start to trade here sideways for quite some weeks or even drop below and go towards $8,200, we could have a bearish cross here in the MACD and this could indicate also that we're gonna have a couple of weeks uh, that we could see some further pushes to the downside towards our bearish target of 8K to $6,400. In theory, we could even drop down here to $5,500, which is the bottom of the Bollinger Band here in the weekly time frame. Of course, that would be the worst case scenario, but it is possible. And even if we would go to test this area down here, we would still have created higher lows compared to the crashes that we had here in March. So this would be still bullish. Even if the price would go down to $5,500, we would be on our bullish way to new all-time highs all right guys and with that said we're gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to participate to the ten dollar bitcoin giveaway that we do weekly now you, the video that you can sign up for the giveaway will pop up at the end of this video so watch the video till the end it will pop up on the uh, right or left corner i don't know anymore and there you have to put any comment you want and also your Bitcoin address. So you will be participating for the next $10 worth of Bitcoin, which we're going to select the winner at the end of the week. And those videos are sponsored from uh, Bityard. So shout out to the people over on Bityard. They are offering this special giveaway. And uh, if you want to watch also the live streams, make sure to join my live stream channel over on uh, Twitch. You find the link also down below here in the video description. And everyone is welcome also to join our free Discord trading chat. The chat is for free. Everyone is uh, welcome. And don't forget, we have all the links to sign up to all these exchanges where you can trade Bitcoin, oil, gold, whatever you want to trade down below here in the video description. If you use my link, you support the channel and of course you can also get some bony as well. So leave a like if you like the content, my friends, subscribe to the channel here and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.